boy guys it's bright out here so before i head off or before we head off to mow there's a whole bunch of things i transplanted down in here but i have to take these down in the garden so you guys will get a little sneak of the garden this morning on this channel Oh man, my tomatoes are getting out of control down here. It's messy out here. The reason I'm bringing these sunflowers down here, guys, is because the groundhog will eat them up and I don't want that to happen. So I need to bring these down here and I needed to come and water some stuff anyway you guys see i didn't water anything so last night i came out here oh look at the echinacea we're not supposed to be in the garden on this channel guys but i just wanted to show you real quick okay i'm gonna get stuff done here for about a half hour before we head off to mow we have an easy mowing day thankfully and then tomorrow's even easier but Let's go ahead and get this done. I think today's gonna be the hottest day. Fun. Good morning, boss. Good morning. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. And you're watching Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. So please like, subscribe, and comment, guys. We do enjoy the interaction. We do. We we love all your lovely comments. Definitely. And you guys' knowledge when helping us with things that we don't know because people comment. Yeah. If we don't understand something. Helpful stuff, yeah. But we are out to mow today. Oh, some exciting news. Rachel put out that quote for that big job, right? The big mulch job, you guys seen us back there. We put a quote out for uh, flagstone around, all new flowers, Rachel designed the whole bed and everything. And we threw out the quote and then they came back and asked us if we could reduce some of the flowers to get the cost down some. Mm -hmm. So Rachel's revising the plan, but we definitely have that job. Yeah, so that will be in a couple weeks. Well, more than a couple of weeks. Rachel told yeah. told them the I told Rachel to start telling people the end of June, going into July, and anybody calling now that wants something done, it's more August probably. Yeah. Because we, I don't want to be run, 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 run if we have these other projects we're doing. I want to just we have a lot going on, yeah. you guys. It's really good. Definitely really good, really good. and some good uh, and possibly some cool fall projects coming up. Yeah. So. Uh, for fall and winter mm -hmm. but they're in the works right now but yeah. we're gonna get out and mow we have a kind of easy schedule today yeah not too too bad i mean it's towards the end of the week so we've done a lot of work this week and um yeah so it's good you know we'll, we'll all be caught up yep. by tomorrow definitely and, and working on projects yeah and doing extras tomorrow and then we're gonna um have our market yeah. on saturday and sunday we're taking off like we yeah. said we were gonna mm -hmm. so if you guys want to see how that goes go to the other channel yeah. we are putting up a video soon so yeah oh yeah we have actually a little extra video that we're going to be putting up and it might be up before you guys see this but go back and check it out it's how to prune petunia baskets to make them beautiful yeah I, we just realized that a lot of people don't always know. I even driving here, I saw, I saw petunia baskets hanging and they're all flushed out and pretty right now, but you can see that they're really leggy. And unfortunately, I bet you in the next couple of weeks when we're driving by, I bet you they have to take them down yeah. because they let them just turn hard and yeah. yucky. And so, um, I so told Rachel just, just to bit. sneak over there and cut them all. Oh my gosh. They'd and then be, run back. Right. And then somebody would come out and see all their flowers gone and they would be like, oh my gosh, what did you do? <laughs> um, because, you know, not... Not everybody knows that mm -hmm. if you do that, they'll come back. It is saving the plant. So. so, okay, let's get out and get to work. We're going to work, work, work mm -hmm. in this hot weather today. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. All right. actually been like 16 days we came here yesterday and actually forgot the 36 so we came back to do it today not bad so i'm gonna get the weed and everything we retreated to the truck we are done the first one guys yeah you did a good job thanks it wasn't too 
bad. It was hot. Oh, yeah. Let me give you guys a quick tip while we're um, going past this one. You guys saw that. So, it's a little bit weedier of a lawn. And um, one of our other lawn care buddies in this area once told me a couple years ago that he mows the lawn once at a lower setting and then raises it up at the second pass um, because then it, it disperses the grass more and isn't cutting anything else off, which is a very big situation here in the mountains because of all the dips and divots we have. Um, I mean, if you're mowing twice over at the same three and a half, then you are really getting a, a really short mow, you know, at three and a half, and you can sometimes scalp, especially with that Z1. Yeah. Um, so what I do, especially in that Z1, I really like to do is mow at three and a half and then raise the second pass up to four, because then again, it's not cutting any more off. It's just then dispersing all that extra grass and weeds that I cut off. Good tip. So, hopefully that's a little tip for you guys. Now it's getting hot. Yep. We're going to go to the next job. Okay, guys. Here's number two. This one is longer than usual. It's been 12 days. So, we are going to get to mowing this. I do the front. Rachel's going to do the back. But we always record Rachel mowing. So, let's get me doing it now. Okay, you guys seen I mowed the front of that. I'm gonna weed eat everything. Rachel's taking care of this. I'm gonna get this done and we'll show you an after. Okay, we're done this one. You've seen it was a muddy mess down there. I gotta say, so far, these are the best shoes I've bought so far in lawn care. But look, that was a muddy mess. These are waterproof. And we are done. Look guys. I think there's a little bit of rain to the left of us. Oh, just a little. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get it, right? Well, if we could just hold off just a little bit, I guess. No, hopefully it's pouring at our house and only our house. Yeah, that would be nice, yeah. But only our house because we have somebody to do it like, on the next trip.
parks and like commercial areas, I could see how a walker would be beneficial. To bag everything up. Yeah. Because right when when you have like parking lots and stuff, there's just not a whole lot of places to put it. Yeah. Oh boy, this looks kind of close to us. Yeah. We'll see you guys. Yeah, look, that's definitely rain, right boss? <laughs> we need to be over three mountains over is where we're going to be over this way. So hopefully it just holds off, right? Yeah, it looks blue there. Yeah, it looks clear here. So we'll see you guys. Yeah, quick update. Guys, we scrapped mowing that one because you can see it is raining now, but it's just a shower. And we're going to hope that it's doing this at our house for at least 10 minutes to give the plant something to drink, but I don't think it is. Then we're going to go back out and do three more. We'll take you guys along. You know what days like this are for, guys? When you're driving around, <laughs> this is how your equipment gets washed. Yeah. Right? Yeah, when you're in. Yeah. Oh boy, it doesn't look like it's at our house though. See the opening there? Oh yeah, that's so crazy. I bet it? you. I bet you we'll get up by the Dollar General or the store and, and it didn't rain at all. Everything around us. Got it. Oh man. It's actually flooded on the sides of the road. We'll see. Well, this is well, this is really good news. Yeah. This is what I like to see at the farm. We haven't had this in a week. Yeah, this is good. Nothing's like rainwater. Yeah, rainwater makes the plants feel so much better. <laughs> they do, they tell you. Yeah. They, they say thank you for the rain. Wow, man. beautiful, right? The sound of water. Oh, I hope that fertilizer is not. Oh, guys. Really good, really good. This is definitely putting down a quarter, half inch of rain. Yeah. Which means that, you know what that means. That's awesome. That's why you don't have the water now. Yeah. Okay, now we gotta run in this house. I know, this is gonna be fun. Ready? Yep. Ready, guys? It just started raining harder. Oh, and it's not going away anytime soon, right? That's good. My plants are saying, I love you, rain. Okay, guys, we are back out after that rainstorm to do some more work. I think there's more rain coming. All right? Yeah, the bounce part of the storm. So let's go ahead and get this one done. <laughs> Well, that one was quick. We only did the front, they didn't leave the gate unlocked again. So we won't come back here until next week. That's gonna be pretty long. I got an alert, so let's hope that that cloud right there is not rain. It is moving this way, so we need to get one done that's really long at least. Says on this one. Really? Don't even play. That Look is how not long that is, man. You got to get to lawns quicker than a month and a half, Are man. Are you kidding me? That's as tall as the trees, right? Stop it. That's not our lawn. Okay, you want to see ours? It ain't as, it's not as bad, but it's But not it as is good. long, yeah. It's our lawn that we're mowing. So, Rachel's going to get to have fun.
Okay, you guys got a little bit of Rachel Mow in that. My phone got too hot, believe it or not. It's beautiful and sunny out here right now. If you don't pay no mind to what's behind me, we'll just pretend it's not there. Looks beautiful this way, right? We'll give you a look at what's this way. As you turn around, as you turn around, you can see it's really not that pretty where we're going. Ugh. But over there, sunny. Right? Okay, guys, we're driving forward to see how pretty it is outside. Yeah, I'm pretty. I think that one rain shaft that's right there is going to be our issue. Oh, yeah, wow, look at that. You see it coming down right there? Mm hmm. I wonder if you guys can see it. Can you see it on video? Pretty sure. No, that one too. Sorry, I turned it down a little bit, but there's no like happy medium. It's either like really hot or I mean really hard or not like not hard enough and then it's hot. every single rainstorm there. <laughs> There's one there. There's one there by our house. And if you go all the way over Rachel's way, I'm pretty sure there's one oh, out yeah, there, there, right? Oh yeah, there is out, like South like, Asheville area. All the way out that way, if you guys can see, when we go through this opening here, yeah. that is Asheville, and there's an even bigger storm all the way up that way. Oh my. But we do need the rain, so. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, at the farm, we got probably a half inch to three quarters inch of rain, so I don't yeah. have to water anything today. No. And probably not tomorrow, because tomorrow's high 70 for you. Not as humid. Yeah, it won't dry out as quick. So that means that we can plant a lot. <laughs> yeah. Like so apparently I'm reading that if anybody is coming to the Smoky Mountains for vacation, um, like Blue Ridge Parkway, where bears are basically is what they're saying they're saying that wildlife experts say bears are taking an opportunist approach to finding food they're actually walking away with people's backpacks they're <laughs> circling campsites they're tearing down bear bags like when you put bear bags up in the trees they're able to get them now and and take them down you gotta put them higher yeah and they're not being they're not being affected by efforts to scare them away. So they're just telling you to, um, you know, be on alert. And watch your stuff. Yeah. There's just, a bear thief running around. And honestly, your stuff is not, just let the bear take it. Yeah, it's not worth your life. Yeah. 
Don't be trying to fight a bear for your iPhone. No, don't. hear that thunder okay so. she doesn't even want to give you an ending guys she just wants to run away oh the birds are all running for the trees they know it's coming uh oh i just got a wet oh i just seen a bowl of light <gasps> so all right so obviously we're done for the day um and like i said it probably now will go over to the farm channel yeah definitely so, so please like comment share and subscribe and be happy guys or at least try have a good have night, a good night. <laughs>